Good afternoon. Let me go ahead and call the special meeting of the Rogan City Grand Independent School District to order. It is Tuesday, May 2nd, 2023. It is exactly 12.06 p.m. and we are at the RGC GISD Family and Community Engagement Center at the Fort Ringgold. Uh, for purposes of determining a uh, quorum, let me go ahead and take roll call. Mr. Elisario Velasquez, Jr. Present. Dr. Veronica Barrera, not present. Mr. John A. Pope IV. I believe President he was, via Zoom. Thank you, sir. President via Zoom. Mr. Noe Castillo. Present. Mr. Basilio D. Varria Jr. Not present. Mr. J. Pena. Present. And myself, Eddie Ramirez, present. Let the minutes reflect that we do have a quorum to proceed. Pledge of Allegiance. Mr. Velasquez, will you help us with the Pledge of Allegiance, please? Thank you, Mr. Velasquez. Yes, Section three, action items. Action item number one, consider take possible action on pay application number two for Ringo Middle School track payable to Halas Construction. Do I have a motion or any discussion on item number one? Uh, Mr. President, if you're entertaining motions, I motion to approve action items one through four as presented in the agenda. There's a motion by Mr. Pena to approve items one through four. Is there a second to that motion? Second, but I have to abstain from item number three. Okay, there's a second by Mr. Castillo with his announcement that to abstain from item number three. All those in favor, so signify by raising your right hand. Same sign, motion carries on item number three. Uh, Mr. Noe Castillo abstain. Item number five, consider and take possible action on proposal agreement for civil engineering services for the Gria Middle School subdivision. Do I have a motion or any discussion on item number five? I motion to approve item number five as presented in the packet. Okay, there's a motion by Mr. Peña. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Second by Mr. Castillo. All those in favor, so signify by raising your right hand. Same sign. Motion carries. Item number six, consider and take possible action on the approval of a reimbursement resolution. I know we need some discussion. I don't know if Mr. Uh, Ricardo Perez, are you available at Zoom, Mr. Perez? Yes, sir. I'm here present. It's just uh, I was going to read the the, the uh, resolution, but I thought it'd be best if you could maybe explain it so that uh, everybody gets to be informed on, on what exactly we're doing here today. Yeah, so basically you don't have to read it. What this is is since we're trying to issue... You're, you're, breaking, up, you're breaking up, Azana. Hold on. Come up with the funds and the shortfall for the... It might be... Uh, Mr. Pettis, hold on. If you, this res oh, this oh. resolution basically authorizes the district to expand funds right now from their MO and going back 60 days and then once the maintenance tax notes are issued you reimburse yourself back those expenditures this resolution is just basically giving you the the ability to reimburse yourself back with maintenance tax note funds okay we lost you at the beginning but i think that pretty self-explanatory mrs robles do you want to add anything to that or yes good afternoon uh, basically, we want to issue uh, the Maintenance Tax Note Series 2023 uh, in order to uh, come up with funds and to shift expenses around so that we can have funds available uh, to complete the Performing Arts Center with the estimated cost that we have right now. Uh, basically, we, will, we have looked for expenses that can be uh, reimbursed through these uh, tax notes, and basically, we just went up to 60 days and uh, we will also be covering some costs that belong to the next budget as well. Okay. And the maximum principal amount of obligations expected to be issued is 8 million, is that yes, correct? Yes, close to 8.5. That's correct. Okay. Is there any further, any questions or discussions I know? Maybe we can get some clarification on the tax exemption of the obligation. Mr. Pettis? It is a tax exempt obligation. It is a tax exempt obligation. Okay. But it's an obligation the school's taken up, but for the purpose of, I guess it's for the maintenance, repair, rehabilitation, and replacement. I'm sorry. Hold on. It's because he doesn't have his mic close to him. Hold the, on. The school's taken up. So it's a tax exemption to the school for taking up the obligation, correct? That's correct. 
All right, and so we're using this really for, and it looks like it's a lot of maintenance, repair, rehabilitation of replacement of heating, air conditioning, water sanitation, roofing, flooring, electric, or other building systems of exi existing school properties. This is throughout the district? That's throughout the district. That's yes. money that you're going to expend from your general fund. Now you're going to use those monies to finish out the fine arts project and with the maintenance tax notes, use the maintenance tax notes for those, for those expenses. Okay but they're all necessary expenses. I guess that question would be directed to Ms. Robles. Yes, we all have right. not uh, included any new expenses. We're not looking for any new expenses. We just want to shift those funds to the uh, Performing Arts Center. And this These are all expenses that are needed throughout the district. Yep. And recur some of these are recurring expenses like for software programs and things like that. And this should cover the gap, yes. right? That needed, needed for the Performing Arts to to fund the performing arts, we can begin its completion and everything Correct. else. Any further questions for either Mr. Perez or Mr. Robles Mendez? All right, there be. I've none. got nothing further. Thank you, Mr. Perez. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. What's the? What's Thank the, you, gentlemen. Thank you. Yeah. What's the deadline, or what is? What's our, our time frame for starting for breaking? I guess for that project, breaking ground I, on it, or? I think she had told Mr. Pena that it got delayed until what month, Mr. Pena? Uh, she said hopefully by the end of uh, June we could present something. Right. So uh, it was going to be late May, early June, but now we're looking at, uh, you know, hopefully either late June or during July. Yeah, she told us it's like a couple of weeks mm -hmm. ago. It got delayed at 10. Yeah. A couple of weeks. Is there any reason for maybe pushing this for today's hearing? or Is there a deadline we have to meet? Or We want to go ahead and make sure that the 60 days already encumbered right. what we've spent the last 60 days. Sir. Right. And there are quite a few expenses. So that's why we're passing the, the yes. real solution, is to make sure that we encumber that area. Correct. In order to reach up to the amount that we need. To get to that amount. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in May, we'll be coming back to you uh, for further discussion and possible, uh, you know, giving us the permission and authority to go out on a, on a bond or loan. Okay, so at this point, we're just... It's this is just a resolution, okay. sir. Okay. To make sure we encumber it. Got it. So there'll be further discussion in the future. Yes, sir. All right. Correct. Cool. I motion to approve item five as uh, presented in the board packet and also incorporating the separate document that's right. been provided with us. Okay. There's a motion by Mr. Pena. For the purposes of the minute, Mr. Pope is now physically present with us at the board meeting. So is there a second to that motion? I second. Second by Mr. Pope. All those in favor, so signify by raising your right hand. Same sign. Motion carries. Item number seven, consider and take possible action on requisitions of $5,000 and over. Do I have a motion? Any discussion on item number seven? So we Good. There's a motion by Mr. Castillo. Is there a second to that motion? Second. Second by Mr. Velasquez. Any discussion? No. There's no supplement to this one? No, I believe okay. not. Just what's in the packet. Is that correct, Mr. Ms. Robles or Mr. Guerra? No. Any, any questions, discussion? Concerns? There being none, all those in favor, so signify by raising your right hand. Same sign. Motion carries. The board will now convene a closed session in accordance with the Texas Open Meeting Act, Texas Government Code Sections 551.071 through 551.076 and 551.082 through 551.084. The time is 12.14 p.m. And All right, we're reconvening back in open session, section five, on both executive session items. They were for information discussion purposes only. There is no action required, with that being on either item A or B. With that being said, the meeting is hereby adjourned. It is 1.04 p.m. Thank you all so very much. <laughs>